everyone, so today we're going to be making this cute little pom-pom spider dude. He's kind of hard to see and it's hard throughout the whole video and stuff, so yeah, fun. Because the camera doesn't like black for whatever reason, so yeah. This is him here, his little legs. So yeah, keep watching and figure out how to make him. So, what you're going to need is black yarn. It's really hard to see, I know, but like, yeah, it's like black yarn. Two black pipe cleaners. Or if you're going to make your spider bigger than mine, you might need more because half of this is going to be one, two set, one leg from each side or whatever. So yeah. If you're making a bigger spider, you might need more. I'm just only making a smaller one. Scissors. And something to wrap your pom-pom around. I don't want mine to be too big. So I figure I'd make it this size and then I can trim it down and I still have a fairly good pom-pom. I'm using this tin cover from um, my, um, assume some, what is it? I can't even read whatever decks of playing cards. You could use whatever you have. It's just something that's like sturdy and I can wrap and also I can get under it with this little like ridge part right here so that'll work nice. So just find something to it for whatever. And figure out how big your pom pom would be and get your thing to be a little bigger so when you give it a haircut it doesn't lose like half your pom pom. And then you end up with something like this big instead. So yeah. The first thing you need to do is just take your yarn and just take your thing you're wrapping and just make a pom-pom. I have many videos on how to do, so I'm not really going to teach you how to do that in this video. I'll link at the end of the video if I remember how to make my, my, my just how to make a pom-pom. Because I've made pom-poms in other things, but I have one where it's just how to make a pom-pom, not how to make a pom-pom whatever, but just a pom-pom. So if you want to go watch that, I'll try to remember to link it at the end. So yeah. You seem to make a pom-pom, and you know how to make a pom-pom, but... One thing, I'm going to make pom-pom off, off camera because it's, it's easier and you don't have to watch me make a pom-pom if you already know how. I just want you to do one thing. When you get to making the pom-pom, if you do it off camera because you're obviously and you don't watch till the next part, make your pom-pom but don't cut the loops yet. Okay, and I'll be right back. So I'm back. I made it to this point. It's really hard to see. I'm sorry. Like, you literally can't see anything. So I'm sorry. If you don't have a pom-pom, you should know what it looks like. But the reason they had you not to do this is because it's just easier to attach the legs on and then let it fluff out. Versus trying to get in between the fluffs, so it's just easier way. So what we're going to do now is make the legs. We take one pipe cleaner. Now you can make your legs however long you want. You just need more pipe cleaners or whatever. But I'm just going to make half a one out each side. I don't mind I kind of have short stubby legs because, yeah, reasons. And I'm going to fold it in half so it's time to get and then cut it in half with two pieces. And then I'm going to do that to the other one. And then you can just go through each of them and bend the ends in a little bit so that you don't stab yourself. Because pep cleaners are pointy and dangerous at times. So yeah, I'm going to just do that real quick. Or I'll end up poking myself and then I'll get hurt and then I'll be in pain. And I don't want that if I don't have to. So, yeah, you can just leave them pointy if you wanted, but why would you want them pointy if you can make them not pointy and not hurt? I don't know. It's up to you. I'm just telling you what I'm doing. What you do is totally up to you. And so then, you can either just, like, stick it right through and then just bend it and it'll be a little, like, one out each side, and then... It won't be very well secured, but if you're going to pull it at once. But I'm going to take mine in each leg. I'm going to fold it in half. And I'm going to have this be two of the four on one side. And this way it's not going to go all the way across. And this, this is how I'm going to do it. So then you can't see it, but right here is where the yarn wraps around the whole thing. Can you get any better lighting on this? Holy moly, is this. I want to focus. Can you see that at all? I don't know. But if you want to pop on you know the right string wraps around to hold it all together. Stick it under that and then twist it once or twice. That's basically what we're just doing. Just get it stuck under that, like where the yarn goes. So it's just like that. And then you just give it one little twist so it doesn't disconnect itself or anything. And then come back off because that wouldn't be fun. And then we'll take another one of our leg things and fold it in half. And then I'm going to do the same thing on that same side, but then I'm going to do two, the other two on the other side. And 
I'm starting to understand why you can't see it on the camera because I'm having trouble just seeing it in real life. That's why your legs kind of end up on opposite sides too. For sure, like on different sides. So there we kind of got some legs going on. You can readjust them once you have the pom-pom all done. It's just This is how we attach them the easiest way that I've found. So yeah, I'm going to fold this leg in half. Find the center. Go on the other side where your other legs are. Find that yarn. Go under it. If you can get your leg there, you should be able to. And then give it a little twist right at the base so it just doesn't come right off again. You can't like, pull out. Take your other leg, pull it in half. Stick it under that same yarn. If you can find it. Get it all the way to the center like that and then give it a little twist. So now you got legs. Now what you need to do is go through and cut all the loops in your pom-pom. look through and just make sure you get all the loops like there's in a couple I missed. You don't want any of these loops to stay loops. You want them all to be like spiky things like that. Then it'll look better once you give it a haircut. I'm just looking through. Sometimes you can just like putting your scissors like right it's like like combing your scissors through it can help find them too. I think I got them all. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and give this a haircut so it's a little bit less of a mess. But again, that's like boring to watch. I'll do it off camera and you can give yours a haircut. Just don't chop your legs off. That's one thing. So yeah, I'll be back. So I'm back again and my spider has gotten a haircut so it's a little bit less long and crazy. So now basically all you got to do is just figure out which direction is going to be the top. And then just bend your legs so they kind of look less, more like legs and less like these like extra long pom-pom hairs. I'm kind of bending most of it facing down like it's kind of walking or whatever. They weren't, they're not as short and stubby as I envisioned, but they're so cute and I still like him. I'm just adjusting mine, so just adjust your spider's legs to however you like. I like mine kind of like that, where he's kind of just like chilling. And if you're just going to, like, set him on a shelf or whatever, you need to make him make sure he can stand up and whatnot. But if you don't, then you can make his legs do whatever you want. And then you can just tie a yarn to him and hang him up or whatever. Which is what I'm going to do. I'm going to hang him up because he's cute. I'm just moving my legs around, making sure they're where I like them. So, yeah, I like them like that. So I'm going to take and I'm going to put a piece of yarn, I'm going to tie a piece of yarn in, but I'm going to use it for a crochet hook, but if you're not going to do it, you can just like set him somewhere. He's a fuzzy little black spider ball. So yeah, if you like pom-pom videos like this, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below, if you make more pom-pom crafts, do you prefer to just go watch a different video on how to make a pom-pom and then come back and turn it into something, or do you prefer that I just teach it all in one video? I want your opinion. I can do either. Just, I don't feel like making you watch how to make a pom pom if you already know or if you can just go watch a different video. So, yeah. And subscribe. Bye.